History was made this day. The eyes of a troubled world are turned on New York City and the United Nations as a pilgrim seeking peace arrives at Kennedy Airport. It is a journey without precedent. Paul VI is the first pontiff ever to set foot on the soil of the United States. A 24-mile motorcade past cheering millions ends at St. Patrick's Cathedral. In front of the great edifice, 50,000 people jam Fifth Avenue. Many had waited throughout the cold night, warmed by their faith or by the thought that they themselves were taking part in this historic event. St. Patrick's is the largest Roman Catholic church in the United States. Begun in 1858, it took 21 years to complete. Now, for the first time in its long and distinguished history, it is visited by a pope. Every cardinal who has presided over the Archdiocese of New York has maintained a papal throne chair for just such a visit. In this day of precedent-shattering events, still another takes place in the cathedral. The traditional reverend hush is broken by spontaneous applause. Tribute to the man who followed in the footsteps of his predecessor, John 23rd, in extending the hand of brotherhood to all men of goodwill. The Pope offers prayers of thanksgiving for the completion of a safe journey. To the 4,000 in the cathedral, Paul asks their prayerful support of his message of peace. He then extends the papal blessing in Latin. The Pope had expressed a wish to walk among the people. However, security planners dissuaded him. Never before has a distinguished visitor been so guarded. 18,000 New York City policemen and hundreds of others threw a protective screen about him. There was no untoward incident. President Johnson traveled from Washington to meet with the Pope for 45 minutes. It was a meeting that the President called inspiring and the Pope expressed deep satisfaction that the talks revolved around a mutual desire to work for peace. There is little rest for the Pope in his crowded schedule. At the United Nations, the spiritual leader of 600 million Catholics is greeted by a Buddhist, Secretary General Uthant. This is the focal point of the Pope's epic mission. He comes to plead that peace guide the destiny of all mankind. In fluent French, he impresses on the delegates that the peoples of the world must turn to the United Nations as a last hope of peace. Nous faisons notre aussi la voie des pauvres, des déshérités, des malheureux, de ceux qui aspirent à la justice, à la dignité de vivre, à la liberté, au bien-être et au progrès. Le peuple se tourne vers les Nations Unies comme vers l'ultime espoir de la concorde de la paix. Nous osons apporter ici, avec le nôtre, leur tribu d'honneur et d'espérance. The Pope concludes his plea to thunderous applause. Calmly, yet forcibly, he invigorated the UN with his simple aims in a complex world. Then Pope Paul turns from the secular to the spiritual. Yankee Stadium is transformed into a huge outdoor cathedral as 90,000 Catholics, Protestants, and Jews crowd into the sports arena. Again, there is applause and cheers like the roll of thunder for the pontiff as he goes to the canopied altar to offer mass. children receive communion as representatives of young people everywhere.
At the end of the religious rites, there is yet another ovation for this humble leader who has captured the hearts and imaginations of men. Rarely has such a tribute been paid to any one personage. In a few short hours, he has been seen by four million people, and the historic event has been beamed around the world. Now the journey must come to an end, appropriately before Michelangelo's Pietà at the Vatican Pavilion at the World's Fair. Pietà was created by Michelangelo more than 450 years ago. Through the ages, it has stood as an eloquent plea to every man to find brotherhood in the sacrifice it represents. The agony bred by hate that the Pietà captures may very well today picture the words of Pope Paul VI to the United Nations, no more war, or never again. Peace, it is peace which must guide the destinies of peoples and of all mankind. Hail and farewell, Pope Paul VI. May divine wisdom look upon your mission with favor. May your epic journey help bring a turning point in the affairs of men.